public service announcement for everyone watching right now wake up if you are sleeping on tokyo revengers recently i finally caught up to tokyo revengers about two days ago and holy shit i did not expect this much pain when i watched it and it's like the good kind of pain it's like the pain that you don't want but it adds to the story in such a good way but you don't want it to happen but it's so good to this the, the plot man it's it hurts so good i actually do want to react to the rest of the series here on the channel man like in the last couple of episodes i'll get into that in a moment but the last couple of episodes just took me on an emotional roller coaster bro i just I could not believe it, man. I was just so immersed. I can't remember. Like, I think it was episode 8 through 13, fire. Like, when I say fire, absolute, the infernos of hell fire, dude. I felt I was in the oven cooking from how good this show was getting. Real quick, for all the people right now that were probably going to type, yo, Ivory, so you bandwagon it on this, man? You know, like, just because a lot of people are, are hyping it up right now, are talking about it. Now you're going to hop on the train. Now you're going to watch. Now you're going to react. I was watching this show when episode one dropped. I literally have a video out called Why You Should Watch Tokyo Revengers. It's like an eight minute or something minute rant video on the first episode. I was there at the Crunchyroll Anime Awards when they first premiered the trailer. And I was there when I first, well, when the first episode drop so i was on the train before anyone was even talking about it on um, like that and what i mean by that is like no one was asking me to react to it when we were at episode like four or something like that and i was watching it weekly at that time i just simply took a break at like episode six or something like that busy with other stuff came back two days ago i'm like all right let's catch up with tokyo avengers you know it's already on the second core so let's see what's popping and finish this arc up and holy shit bro i wish i honestly i wish i could have reacted to that because some of the shit that goes on is crazy. I am going to go a little bit into spoilers here. So once again, if you haven't watched Tokyo Avengers, bro, please do yourself a favor and watch it. Amazing anime, bro. If like if you watch stuff like uh, Erased or something, it may maybe even a little like Steins Gate with stuff that involves like time travel, um, emotional, you know, development and involvement and whatnot, more deeper themes and also have like a comedy edge to it. Tokyo Avengers, definitely like fucking seal of approval please watch this series but with that dude we got to talk about some shit bro yo first of all episode 12 man i just want to get this out of the way first episode 12 you fuckers are evil for this episode 12 man takamichi he finally saves draken he's like yo we did it bro the the future's gonna change we dope you know we cool we cool we go back everything's changed i got my job back my boy akun is working his hairstylist bro yo when i saw him in there and i'm like yo i remember the promise he made to you bro on the bike i'm like yo dude i was just like beyond hyped when i saw that shit so like i'm like yo my boy akun is good now and then yo now it was like yo takamichi caught him up he's like bro let's go see my sister i'm like cool let's go and it's a little awkward between takamichi and uh you know hinata and naoto because talking me just like ah i mean like i saved you but you probably don't know who i am bro it's been like 12 years i think since i broke up with you which we haven't figured out how or like why they broke up so i'm really curious to see to see that and then you know like it, it's all fine and dandy you know Hina. it's obviously that it's obvious that she still fucking likes him it's obvious that uh, fucking takamichi still likes Hina. i'm like bro just fix it right now dude it's obvious that they, they still like each other. Just fix that shit right now. And then this man goes to the restroom. He's about to leave the restroom. And this boy Hanma's just sitting there. Oh, not sitting there. He's just standing there menacingly. He looked dope as fuck. Don't get me wrong. I love the hand tattoos and everything. The adult Hanma, he got some dope ass hair too. And he's like, yo, you're not in the car. And as soon as that happened, I was just like, there's only one person that's in the car right now. There's only one person that's in that fucking car right now, Hanma. You bitch. Man goes to the car, all we see is the headlights. Ooh. Motherfucker truck runs into Hina's car. Dog. And what's even worse, I'm like, okay, maybe it's just like a grunt that's doing the dirty work for, for you know, Hanma and whatnot. But like, and then it's like, it's Akun. And he says the same stuff that he did the first time that he died. He's like, yo, Kisaki is putting me up to this shit, bro. I'm scared, man. And he was supposed to kill him. He was supposed to kill Takamichi and Hina. I'm like, bro, you cannot do this shit to me, man. 
and then we go and Hina, and then it explodes, right? Everything's on fire, dude. I'm like, dude, I'm like, I'm like, at this point, dude, I'm like standing up at this point. I'm like, I'm, this is exactly how I'm looking, like looking at this. And then this is the thing that like, it just, I could not take it anymore. I was just like, this is the greatest shit of all time. It's when he's reaching in the car and he knows like, you know, it looked like she was fine. You know, she's a little bleed. Like maybe she had a little concussion here and there, some scratches, some bruises. I'm like, oh, she looks fine. I'm literally yelling at my TV. Takamichi, pull her out, bro. Cause she's like, yo, he's just like, yo, gra grab my hand. You know, grab my hand. I'm like, don't just pull her out. Just pull her out. And then the camera is just pans down, bro. It just pans down. And her whole lower half is just gone, dude. It's just fucking gone. It's just crushed. And at this point, I just, I just couldn't believe how much this series was really about that life. And then I found, and then I found out. And then from episode 12, I'm like, dude, I, I have to. Cause if, <clears throat> cause people said, this is, this, this is the simple shit. There's some even crazier shit that goes down. I'm like, bro. All right. I'm like from that day forward or from that night forward, I was like, I have to react to this, man. I have to record just some of the events that go on. And then obviously next episode, Takamichi goes back and then he's like, yo, got to become, I think he's going to become the third division captain, I believe. I think it's the third, the third division. So that's what we left off. And then we're starting a new arc with that. But, uh, <sighs> fuck it, dude. Stop sleeping on Tokyo Revengers, man. It just got, it's so fucking cool. It's so dope. I definitely do think it deserves the hype that it's gotten over time, man. Because like I said before, definitely... When it was first airing, you know, like episode like one through four, at least from my perspective, there was no one really talking about it like that, man. I mean, sure, like, don't get me wrong, like Tokyo Avengers has, has fans. Like the manga I know is insanely popular, but when I was watching it, definitely like no one was really, you know, telling me like, yo, you need to react to this. You need to get on this hype train. I was just liking it. Cause like, yo, it gave me like the erased vibes and whatnot. I like the aesthetic, like I said before, I'm like, yo, it was just dope as hell. So. I was just watching on my own time. But after that, after seeing that episode, I was like, yo, I'm like, you can't do that. And, and that's not to take away from the other episodes beforehand. I'm not going to get into those because I don't want to spoil that. That was the only thing I want to talk about. But, you know, the previous episodes before that with involving Drake in and, and Mobius and all that fucking flames as well, dude. I, I love almost everyone in this show is so good. Takamichi, my boy Mikey, my boy Drake in. Oh my god, it just everyone's so fucking cool, dude. I just I love the designs, just everything, man. I can rant about this for days. But with that being said, I think I've updated you guys about how much I love Tokyo Avengers. I'm treating this video kind of like a sequel to the first video I made about Tokyo Avengers, just talking about the first episode, since a lot of people just don't think that I've been watching Tokyo Avengers ever since the beginning. So treating this like a sequel. So hope you guys enjoy this little update, man. I'm letting you guys know also that I do plan to react to this. So the next Tokyo Avengers episode that airs. I will be here for it. Hopefully I don't get my ass struck down by the copyright gods, but no matter what, I'm going to be here for it. So with that being said, guys, make sure to leave in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Tokyo Revengers so far. Is this your first time hearing about it? And what, what were your reactions to certain scenes here and there? What were your reaction to the episode 12 scene? Because, bro, I just, ah, I just, that is the scene I cannot get out of my head, in, in my opinion, bro. Just let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to read about them. Also, guys, make sure to subscribe. We're trying to hit that 200,000 subscribers again. And also, make sure to click that like button. It really helps the board a lot. But nonetheless, it's been your boy, Ivy. Hope you have a great ass day today, guys. And I'm out. Peace.